Good morning, my name's Sam, you're watching So Let's Sparkle with Sam and I have just popped on this morning, fresh as a daisy, out of the shower and in my lovely Marks and Spencers velour onesie um, to do a Think Pink box um, unboxing, a Think Pink subscription box unboxing. Yes, that's what I'm here to do. So um, I have been a little bit unwell between Christmas and New Year. It, today is the 3rd of January and I'm just starting to feel a bit better. So I thought I would pop on and do um, an unboxing because my lovely Think Pink box, I have I have opened the box, but I have not looked inside. Um, but my Think Pink box arrived yesterday and I was going to um, do the unboxing yesterday and I just didn't feel like it. So I am going to do it today. I am hoping that my voice holds out for today um, and that I hold out for today because I have a lot of vlogs that I want to film for you. So hopefully you will see a lot more of me if that is what you like <laughs> yeah, um, in the future. So where am I at? Yes. If you like my videos, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe because it really helps my channel out. And yeah, Think Pink Box. So I subscribe to the Beyond the Pink Door Think Pink subscription boxes that I get every month and I love them. Uh, the lovely Andrea. I also subscribe to her advent calendar, which I have to say. And on reflection, looking back at all of the other advent calendars that other people opened, I thought it was absolutely fantastic, fantastic value for money and yeah, and just a really nice box to unopen. Um, and I can't think of one single thing that I got in it that I didn't really enjoy and that I won't use. So, so yes, fabulous. Andrew doesn't pay me, by the way. I just really do think that it's amazing. I, I really love, I love Andrea's ethos about her whole business and I really enjoy my receiving my boxes. In fact, I receive anything that I receive from Andrea. I really enjoy receiving. So shall we open the boxes? Now the little card that you get inside is currently downstairs because I, I took it out. So I thought, right, I'm going to be prepared. This month I'm going to be prepared. It's one of these things that I'm a, a little bit, not that I really do New Year's resolutions, but a little bit of a resolution for this year is to be a little bit more prepared and try and be a little bit more organised. And I was, you know, be proud of me. I was really organised. I got the card out and I thought, I'll have a little look at the ebook first. And this time that, you know, that way I'll know if there's different colourways. And so I did that. I took it out, I had a look, but Andrea hasn't actually finished the ebook or hadn't finished the ebook when I had had a look at it. So it's like, well, that's not going to work then, is it? So we have it all still wrapped in lovely sparkly snowflake tissue paper with the sticker still untampered with. So I will open the box and have a look inside. Ooh, ooh, she says again. So inside the box, I've got some lovely little candles. Are they scented candles? Luxury home aromas, Anya candles. Oh, they look like little roses. Oh, that's very nice. That morning coffee, caramel vanilla latte. Now, are they candles or are they wax melts? I think they might be wax melts, actually, because I can't see any wicks in them. I think they might be wax melts. How very lovely. Um, and I have some navy blue Mariflex thread. So that will give you a little clue to what the fabric is. <laughs> and I also have some navy blue organic jersey bias tape. And I love this stuff. Um, I got into this stuff from Andrea and um, a subscription box last time um, and I hadn't really realised that you could get jersey bias tape um, and it's brilliant so that will come in really handy and then a lovely little sachet of instant hot chocolate so I think I might donate that to my family because I don't really like hot chocolate <laughs> I know I'm a bit weird I don't really do 
hot chocolate. I don't, I'm not a great lover of chocolate flavoured things. I like chocolate, unadulterated chocolate is fine, but chocolate flavoured things, chocolate cake, hot chocolate, you know, chocolate flavoured puddings, I'm not really that much of a fan of. If that makes me weird, I do apologise. <laughs> so yes, so on to the fabric. Now this is a big hunk of fabric, I have to say, um, and it's a lovely knit. Um, it's ribbed. Let me just put this box out of the way so I can get to it. And there is, as I said, there's a rather lovely hunk of it. Now we normally get 2.5 metres, so I'm going to assume that that's what it is. Look at that. Isn't it lovely? Such a beautiful colour. So there's so many options with this because, I mean, I'm definitely you can I'm definitely going to wear this colour. I didn't. One thing that I did pick up on on the ebook is that there was quite a few different colourways. Um, but for me, navy blue is a very, very good colourway. It's quite a thin knit because um, there's a few things that I want to make with knit fabric this year but this one is quite a thin one although I you don't know, you can't really can't really yeah it's still quite opaque um but there are there is lots and lots and lots of it so if you did want to kind of line a bodice or something like that or just do a couple of layers on a bodice I think you definitely could but yeah so what do I make with that hmm so many options. Comments underneath, I think, for this one. Um, because I've not been very well between Christmas and New Year. I've, yeah, I've, I wouldn't say I've lost my sojo. Um, because it, I've, I've definitely not lost it. It's just, I've just been poorly. <laughs> I've just not been very well. So I've just been finding that um, those creative juices haven't flown as much as they normally do because I've been more worried about all of the other kind of bodily fluids that have been going around my body, mainly me being a bit snotty. Sorry if that's too much information, but I have been feeling quite ridiculously ill. Yeah, just the lurgy. I, um, yeah... I have no idea what it was, but it, it definitely knocked me for six. So I definitely need, you know, I need a pick-me-up project. So if someone can think of something that's going to be a nice, quick and easy, simple one. I mean, or everything inside me is saying um, a cow neck Freya dress. Because I think that would be really simple and I think I'd wear it. But then I don't know whether I'm just, you know, I'm just thinking too simple. So if you have other ideas, please let me know. Now, I know it's a very short and sweet one, but um, that's the way it is. Don't forget to sparkle. I'll see you again really soon. Bye for now.